Hello and welcome to the Seed Group Podcast. Thank you all for joining us. Oh, anytime. <laughs> A pleasure. A pleasure. Well, you know, one of the interesting things I was thinking about mm -hmm. when we're not playing together and doing stuff, you know, I love, I'll do karaoke just for the heck of it because I like karaoke. Yeah, because it's fun. And sometimes I get to do songs that we would normally do in a set. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of fun to do and play around with. But there is a place called, well, a website called Songbird Karaoke that, you know, if you if you like karaoke, if you love doing karaoke, Songbird Karaoke is a great place to find, you know, find different songs and stuff in their library you want to sing. But it got me thinking because I found out they also have music facts. Mm. Which I love. They have music facts. But before I get into that, Albert, you had an interesting music fact. Really? What was it? Well, Jimmy <laughs> Hendrix took his guitar with him when he went to the Army. Wow. Uh, and I never realized he used to play with Lil Richard. And uh -huh. he did a stint with Isley Brothers. I, I didn't that's know where, that. Yeah, that's where the guitar player, I forgot his name. That's uh -huh. where he learned how to play the stuff that Jimmy plays. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yep. I did not know that. Yeah. That That's fascinating. Yeah. Oh, well, Norman, that makes me ask, do you have a music factoid? Yeah. I say factoid. They like to tease me on it. I love to say the word factoid. She's a factoid herself. Um, <laughs> music factoid. Music factoid. Do you have one, sir? Oh, uh, let's <laughs> see. Barry Manilow didn't write the songs. I write the songs. He didn't write the really? song, I write the songs. Who wrote it? Uh, it's a guy named Bruce. I do know that. It's a guy named Bruce Johnston. Cool. That wrote it. Bruce, he did it. So he didn't write the songs to make the whole world sing. He wrote songs, not that song, mm -hmm. that makes the whole world sing. So. <laughs> what can I say? That's it. <laughs> I was about to take credit for it. But. You about to take credit for it? Well, I mean, but I mean that's fascinating because when you hear, for those of you that don't know who Barry Manilow is, Barry Manilow has basically written so many songs or sung so many songs that you call it like just a music songbook. It, I mean, it's amazing, and I do sing some of his stuff. I do karaoke a lot of cool. his stuff too, but um, yeah, I write the songs I actually I actually do like. That, but he didn't write it. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, he wrote other songs. He didn't write that song. Yeah. And, <laughs> and you know what? And I didn't know this. Mm -hmm. And basically, from what I've read, it's basically guys. This happens to uh -oh. loud music mm -hmm. causes you to drink more in less time. So different places that are playing, you know, bars that are playing loud music. It basically is, I don't know if they know it or not, they probably do, but it causes people to drink more they in less know. time. <laughs> well, they said the strong beat increases the heart rate mm -hmm. and it causes the muscles to kind of rhythmically contract, mm -hmm. which might induce sweating and stuff and make you thirsty. <laughs> How does it affect women? You didn't tell them that. You didn't tell you them know, the good part. You know, I basically, no, I looked this <sighs> up. I looked this up, and they base it basically, now correct me if I'm wrong, but basically it seems like it's a man thing. Yeah, but women, it makes <laughs> them more arousal. Send all your emails, too, because I didn't say that. I send did not me. say that. But basically it's a dude thing. It's yeah. a dude thing. But I, I found that fascinating. That's really fascinating, but the thing, I, there's two facts that just stunned me. Okay, number one, <laughs> Prince play, and most people know this. I kind of found out later that right. Prince played 27 instruments on his debut album. Mm -hmm. I Isn't didn't that? know that. I really didn't know that. Love Prince, and I knew, I knew he played a lot of instruments. I know he played that many. I knew the guitar, knew the drums, you know, different things like that, piano. I had no idea that he played all of that. The guy was just a musical genius. Yeah. That Do you was, remember any of the songs off his first album? You know what? I have to go back and Do look. Do you remember how he dressed when he first came out? How did he dress when he first came out? He wore a diaper. I think I do remember that. I yeah. think I do remember that. Most of his stuff was sexually orientated. 
and I can't name some of the names of the songs, and you know why if you're a Prince fan. <laughs> right. This okay, is a we, family show. We're gonna get rid of we're gonna get away from this thing with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just giving the facts. Just giving the facts. The facts, the facts, yeah. nothing but the facts. Yeah. But I Did mean, you know that they made a special part of Jimi Hendrix because they were so fascinated with him? We'll leave that alone too. Okay, I'm sorry. What? Okay, continuing on. Yeah, continue on. Let, let's move on. Let's move on to okay, something okay. else. Something decent. Something yeah. decent. I wish you keep but your he, mind he, out the gutter. See what he does. See, see. Well, first of all, because I, I do, I love music I thought facts. We had two facts. Well, you already named oh, okay. a ton of facts. This is the second. Well, we named other facts. Okay. But these are two major facts, okay. right? Okay. So the second major fact is, none of the Beatles could read or write music. I thought that was, um, I, I mean, so they couldn't take a music sheet and put the treble and the bass and all the little mini notes and all stuff. They couldn't do any of that. You know, no music theory and stuff. But they have written songs that have Beautiful. stood the test of time. Yeah. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Especially, we were just talking about the yeah. civil rights movie with Blackbird. Blackbird, yes. I never knew what the song was really about. I thought it was something else he was talking about. No, I, I knew I knew that about the civil rights movement and desegregating the schools in the south right. and stuff. And like we talked about, black mm -hmm. bird, a bird in in England is a girl. Yes, a woman. Yeah, it's your bird. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna give you the bird. Oh, sorry, wrong one. I'm sorry. I, I don't know. I gotta keep it lively. I don't you know, know what's quiet. going on. I I I. <laughs> I don't know, you know, it, it is what it is. <laughs> oh, yes, Lord. But they said uh, that they used to do courting mm -hmm. to know so they could remember the songs mm -hmm. and do courting and stuff like that with the words and whatnot. Oh, yeah. And I mean, that was fast. I mean, some great music oh. came from there. And Paul McCartney, I mean, everybody has their favorite Beatle and favorite songs or whatever they wrote either with the Beatles you know collectively or outside of that but Paul McCartney is, is one of my favorite composers mm -hmm. well, I have a lot of them in there, McCartney they, they did most of the composing they did most of the composing but this was Paul McCartney's baby I think yeah. and uh, I really like I said I, I love I, I love different uh, composers for various reasons, different writers for various reasons, and I love a lot of them. But I love some of Paul McCartney's writings, especially you know even when he uh, and when the Beatles broke up. But that's a whole nother show topic that could go on and on and on. But I found that fascinating. But Jimi Hendrix was another one. I like I said, I found that fascinating because I didn't know that. So we got Jimi Hendrix, we got Prince. We have, you know, the Beatles, Paul McCartney facts, Barry Manilow. Oh, he's got something else. Another fact. Did you know Michael Jackson was the holder of the Beatles catalog? He owned that. Yes, yes, he right did. On. He owned a kid it, boy. And well, let's throw this other fact to it in there. The Simpsons song, Do the Bart oh, Man. Yeah. I, now, I was this many years old when I found out that Michael Jackson, <laughs> it was written by Michael Jackson. I had no idea. I never knew that until you told me. <laughs> I have, I have no, I had no idea. Mm -hmm. So if you want to listen to Do the Bart Man and go, huh? Oh, 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 he's got no, oh, he's no, got no. Oh. That was it. We need to listen to the Bart Man. <laughs> So we're gonna listen to Bart Man. See now I gotta go back to Prince's first album mm -hmm. and listen to that again. You need to listen because it's older stuff. So listen to that again. Nikki. Nikki. And 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 I need to go someplace and play loud music to see mm -hmm. if it makes me thirsty. Oh, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. You know what? Just cause of that. <laughs> Just cause of that. Just cause of that. Here we go. I am going to end this, guys. I'm wrapping Why? this up. I'm wrapping this, this is up. This to be the fun part. I'm wrapping this up. I don't know what. I don't know what is going on with him today. But you know what? I'm gonna wrap this, this up. Is a, this is a floor over from Easter Sunday. We had Norman and I was in the car taping and putting out videos. We were having so much time, go, fun going to church that Sunday morning. We were jamming so hard in there when we got to church. I warned him. The roof might come off this place today, and Pastor said, "Go for it." Yes, that's all he had to tell me. See, I get that. Oh, we. Have I don't problems. get how going to church came about 
with the other stuff that we talked about. Like, where, where is the correlation between those two? God is love. Oh, that's a stretch. <laughs> no, 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 no. the two things. <laughs> Thank you. Tell her. <laughs> she just does not We understand. talked about the two things. The two main, well, we talked about a lot of stuff. We did Jimi Hendrix. We talked about Barry Manilow. We talked about the Beatles. Paul McCartney. We talked about... Uh, uh, Michael Jackson, we just added that about doing the Bart Man. Uh, you know, y'all made it weird with loud music. Calm down, it'll be all right. Calm down. When you uh, get home, you can just turn the music up. You'll be all right. Uh, you know what? Hmm? Hello, Marcus. Our amazing, wonderful producer, Marcus. He can't see nothing. He's over there cracking you know, up. Who keeps the show going? <laughs> Who keeps this show going? He's going calm down. I, I, like I said, it's not working. I do not know. I told you Sunday was so good. I told you y'all again. To church. Explain to South me. Shore, hey, no, 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 South no. Jeffrey, come on down. Explain you to me. Enjoy it. Huh? Explain to me. We I'll tear did, the roof off a church in Easter. Did you? Last are you talking oh, about man. the other stuff? Well, like what I said, what rhythm, I stuff? said rhythmic contraction of the muscles, and you came what up with the rousal. I don't well, know. Well, do you know what she's talking about? Roll it back, you know. This, has been talking this whole thing is being filmed. Explain that to me. Huh? It's not like this is in a vacuum. Huh? Don't you think it's time for us to We would like to say thank you all for joining <laughs> us on the C Group Podcast. Thank you all to our wonderful, amazing producer, Marcus, yeah, who thanks, keeps Marcus. this ship going. <laughs> Somebody got to do it. And somebody's got to do it because they don't listen to me. So yes, that's we do. Mm, so that's all from us from the C Group Podcast. Thank you for joining us. And as oh. always, plant a seed and watch it grow. Bye-bye. Thank you. <laughs> Subscribe.